happy Thanksgiving. Today is Thursday and we have two more sea days before we head back home and debark the ship in Los Angeles. So today is our second Thanksgiving ever at sea. And we're about to go down to the atrium to see if they have any Thanksgiving decorations or carvings or something like that. Junior is having a little snack in the cabin and we're just enjoying some warmth and relaxation out here on the balcony. I expect that tomorrow it's gonna to get pretty chilly out here because as we head back up the coast of California, that California weather is gonna set in. We just passed Cabo San Lucas a little while ago and it's still nice and toasty. There's actually a really big rainstorm in the west uh, area right now on the west coast, so lots of rain in California. And we anticipate that that might affect us tomorrow on the ship as well. So we're gonna try to get out and enjoy as much as we can. But before we go to that, I wanna tell you a little bit about last night. After our ultimate balcony dinner, which was wonderful, if you haven't seen that vlog, make sure you go back and watch it. We decided to work off some calories by walking around the ship. So it was about 10 p.m. and we went out and went to the pool area and up where they normally do the fountain show, they had an amazing deck party going on. Um, the cruise director staff and cruise director Matt O were out there having an amazing time. So it started off with a live band there's an incredible live band on this cruise. They were playing wonderful music. And then they switched over to more of a DJ type of a thing and then did some kind of line dances. And this is not a sleepy ship, you guys. There were so many people out there, people of all ages dancing, having a great time, just enjoying the balmy, wonderful evening. So I've been really impressed with the nightlife. I guess you could call that nightlife on, the, on this particular ship. So much fun. Junior and I even got out there for just a few minutes and did a little bit of dancing. And then we came back to the room and kind of conked out after having full bellies and a wonderful dinner and just a lot of, a lot of activity over the past few port days. We were really tired. So we slept in a little bit this morning and then we had the privilege of going on a bridge tour. Now with this particular ship, they do have the ultimate ship tour available for purchase. On our itinerary, it wasn't available to us, but we were able to go on a ship tour. And we have a few photos that we're gonna show to you. You're not allowed to take video up in the bridge area, but we had some questions for the captain and for the staff up there and learned a ton about the bridge. Matthew, the guy who gave us the tour, really had a different perspective on things. So we learned all about the weight distribution on the ship and how they use water at the base of the ship to control um, the way that the ship is positioned in port. For example, yesterday, due to the way we were anchored, we had to be listing towards one side to keep the ship just so. We learned how the ships communicate with one another when necessary, when in port. We've been with Osterdam and Miracle the whole time, so we learned how they communicate with other ships. We learned about the pilot, and we got to see the special button that they push when they want to play the love boat. <laughs> The crazy cool love boat horn song. You would think it'd be like this big fancy button that says like love boat horn song, but it really isn't. It's just this one white button that says start. So anyway, really great time. Met some nice people on the bridge tour and then kind of regrouped a little bit, grabbed a cup of tea and some cookies. And now we're gonna go off and explore the ship. So tonight, Thanksgiving is formal night and there is turkey on the menu. I stopped by and looked at the menu for the main dining room, but there's also lobster. So we are going to stay in the main dining room tonight. No specialty dining for us. Tomorrow night, we're gonna do Crown Grill, but um, the maitre d' said, hey, you know what? It's really a lovely night to just stay in the main dining room. Don't venture out. Don't go do anything like that. It'll be fine. So that's what we're doing. So much to do today and tomorrow that we haven't done yet. We haven't gone for a gelato. We haven't ordered a drink through the Medallion app, which I'm dying to do. It just has been such a busy cruise. We haven't done it yet. What else have we not done? Oh my goodness sakes. Oh, we haven't gone to afternoon tea. So we're gonna see how much we can squeeze in right now, but let's go down to the atrium and see how everything is decorated for Thanksgiving.
We were pleasantly surprised at all of the Thanksgiving decorations around the ship. They had a cake in the dining room, a little turkey display out in the atrium, and just cute paper decorations all over the bars. And now we've decided to settle down and have a little lunch in the main dining room, which is something we haven't done all week. This is nice and relaxing. After we checked out the atrium with all the Thanksgiving decorations, we jumped into the main dining room for a nice, relaxing lunch. We had some wonderful appetizers. Junior had French toast and a hamburger. Mr. Cruise Tips TV had some granola, and I had a soup, salad, and sandwich combination. It was wonderful. After that, we did something totally unique that we have never done on a cruise. Uh, Mr. Cruise Tips TV got acupuncture. We actually bought a three session package. We met the acupuncture doctor on the first day of the cruise and he was such a nice guy and you know how you just have those little aches and pains in life and you're always curious about different ways to attack them or address them. Uh, Mr. Cruise Tips TV's lower back has been kind of bothering him so we thought we would give it a try. We got a great deal. If you buy three sessions they give you a discount so we went for it. It's a little late in the cruise to get started with acupuncture but why not? So we got one session today and he'll do to tomorrow. So now we're going to go and we're going to do something kind of fun. We're going to try to find a totally abstract place on the ship and we're going to order our first free cocktail using the Ocean Medallion app straight from my device. So it turns out that that wacky place we decided to order our drink from was our stateroom. We looked at the clock and we're like, uh-oh. <laughs> we have to get ready for formal night. So we came back here and opened up the app and gave it a go. Basically what happens when you um, open up the app is that you get this little prompt that says order a drink and then it tells you, it gives you a little list of allowable venues that you can order from and then you just proceed to choose your cocktail, beer or wine, whatever it is that you want or non-alcoholic drink and then you order it and the first one is free. It's pretty cool. So I ordered a sour apple martini and it was supposed to be $10, but because it's the first drink I've ordered, there's a little line to the $10, and it's free. It does say that an 18% gratuity will be added to the purchase, but I'm not sure when that will happen. And then it says your order may take up to 30 minutes. So there's three categories, ordered, preparing, and serving. Mine is in the preparing phase, so hopefully it'll be here soon. And we need to get in gear and get ready for formal night because... Tonight is Thanksgiving dinner and we're really excited. So we'll see you when that apple martini arrives. Hi, how are you? Good, good, good. Come good, on thank in. Thank you. Thank you. Good, thank how are you? I'm good. Good. How did you balance that all the way here? From this glass. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> That's amazing. That is really good. Thank you so much. That was so fast. All right. Oh my goodness. Lemontini. <laughs> okay. Thank, thank you so much. So much. Have thank a great you. day. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. So have a good thank night. You. Bye bye. Bye bye. Enjoy. Thank you. I will. That's pampering. I think that maybe took 10 minutes. Would you guess it was 10 minutes? Let's smell it. Yum. I can't remember the last time I had an apple teeny. So good. Okay. Now we have to get ready for formal night, but this is so good. Yum. So it's time for us to get ready for our second formal night here out at sea. There's been a distinct shift in the weather today on our first sea day back up to Los Angeles. It went from really warm, like swimsuit weather, to a little bit more cool, probably like 72 degrees outside. So if you're doing this cruise, pack a hoodie and some jeans for the last sea day and the first sea day if you're cruising during the fall or winter months. So I want to talk for just a minute about what it's like to be on a Thanksgiving cruise. It's so interesting because when we think about Thanksgiving, we think about like all the hard work in the kitchen. You've got the turkey baking in the oven. The guys are watching football on the couch. And it's kind of like that on the cruise. I mean, everybody was still watching football around the pool. There was football everywhere. And it was just so cool to see all the families sitting around playing Scrabble or hanging out in their swimsuits by the pool, just eating pizza and doing nothing. 
And I think there's really something to be said for kind of surrendering that holiday stress every now and then to a cruise or a vacation, just something to get away and be together and be totally present as a family. I feel like that's kind of my takeaway today is how beautiful it's been just to see people relaxing and enjoying each other's company. So we're gonna go get all dolled up for our last formal night on the beautiful Royal Princess and um, go enjoy some dinner. I'm having a hard time deciding if I'm gonna have turkey or lobster tonight. What do you think, turkey or lobster? We'll see. Happy Thanksgiving from the Concerto Dining Room on Royal Princess. It's so nice to not do any of the cooking or any of the cleaning. It's a little weird adjusting though to not having like a massive amount of things to do. Having the turkey going, the stuffing, worrying about all the side dishes. It's a little bit of an adjustment, but I think I could get used to not having to do the dishes. So cheers to all of you. I want to tell you what is on the menu tonight on Royal Princess. Just take a few moments to tell you about this beautiful selection of foods. So for starters tonight, they have pâté de foie with a port wine glaze, fruit, a snow crab martini, which you know I ordered it because crab, hello. Um, a mushroom soup, charred sweet corn chowder, which I got for Junior, he's a chowder man, and a salad. For the mains, they have a gnocchi with roasted pumpkin aromatic truffle sauce, a delice of sole on vermouth cream, broiled lobster tail, slow roasted Vermont turkey with giblet gravy and cranberry sauce, a beef tenderloin baked in herb and brioche crust, pineapple, pineapple excuse me, glazed hickory smoked Virginia ham, which we have it on good authority from our new friend from the Kids Center that that is the thing to get, and a grilled vegetable milfui with a trio of dressings. It was hard to decide tonight. So what we did is we each got a few appetizers and we all got the turkey for our entree. And then we also got the gnocchi with pumpkin sauce and the ham just to taste. So this should be really nice. It's a little bit of a non-traditional Thanksgiving, but I will take it. Dinner was lovely. Turkey, cranberry, stuffing, all the fixings without any of the cleanup. It was wonderful, so relaxing. Uh, Mr. Cruise Tips TV had some pumpkin pie. Junior had Nutella ice cream. And then we headed up to the pool deck to see if we could catch the fountain show. But we missed it for the third time in a row <laughs> because I am not planning well. And it starts at nine o'clock at night. So if you are going on Royal Princess, make sure you are to the pool deck by 9 p.m., not 9.30. We keep showing up at 9.30, which is like a half an hour late. So hopefully tomorrow, our last night of the cruise, we will get to see the fountain show. This has been a really cool holiday at sea. It's a, you almost feel a little bit guilty because you're not washing dishes, you're not <laughs> looking after your guests, you're not mixing the cocktails, you're not doing any of it, but it's just so good, it's so good. And we're dressed in our formal wear and feeling all dolled up, so we're gonna walk around the ship, see what's going on, and then probably hit the hay early because tomorrow morning we have the ultimate balcony breakfast, courtesy of our wonderful travel agent, Wendy. And then tomorrow night, it's the Crown Grill. Thanks for following along with us today. We'll see you in the morning. Happy Thanksgiving from the Concerto Dining Room. It's very special to have Thanksgiving on a cruise. Not cooking, no stress, no dishes. You don't even have to make your own bed. <laughs> and if your company is driving you crazy, you just kick them to the curb. No, I'm just kidding. We have to start that over again. <laughs> Sorry. Let's just have a little fun. <laughs>